Hi everyone, Todd Lambert here, Regional Trainer for Emergency Reporting. Today's two minute tutorial is all about the use of custom fields in the incident module with questions that we create in the user defined fields of the administration module. We will cover how to create the question or questions we want to ask, then we will look at how it works in the incident module, and then finally we will look at how to collect the data from these questions. First, we will get started in the administration module. Under the incident setting on the left hand side of the screen, we will click on the user defined field selection. This is where we will create our question or questions that we want to ask to collect data from our incidents. Here's how it works. Let's say we want to create a question about the use of seatbelts by the vehicle occupants when we respond to a vehicle accident. We start by clicking on the add field here at the top of the screen. Now we will type our question. If this were a vehicle accident, were the occupants wearing seat belts? The reason I start the question with if is because this question is specific to a type of incident, and this question will be asked for every incident regardless of the incident type. Okay, next we will decide in what sequence or order will the question be asked. With only one question, this is easy. But if we're going to ask multiple questions, this is where we will determine in what sequence or order they will be asked. This is helpful when each question is dependent on the answer of the question prior. A suggestion is to use the 10, 20, 30 method for numbering. This is helpful if you have to add questions later. You have a space to add them without changing the number of each other question. You can think of 10, 20, 30 as 1, 2, 3. For this question, I will use 10. Next is, does this question need to be required? Or should I say, do we want to make sure this question is answered every time an incident report is completed? Keep in mind, if you have a question like this one that is incident specific, you will want to make sure you have an answer that helps identify the incidents that do not apply so it doesn't skew your data collection of this question's results. Okay, now that we have our question, let's decide on the answer type. We either set this for a type in answer or a single selection. In the case of this question, a single selection makes more sense. So our answers are going to be real easy. Yes, no, not applicable. We can also rearrange our answers to put the answers that will be selected the most at the top. This will make your report submitters happy. Now we will save our questions and that's it. We have created our first user defined field. Next, before we go to see how this will work on the incident module, we need to make sure that the custom fields are turned on in the required fields customization setting. This is done in the administration module also, right here above where we just were to create our question. If there isn't a check mark in the box next to include custom fields page, we just need to check the box and the custom fields will now show up in the incident module when we are doing an incident report. Now let's look at what it looks like in the incident module. I have a report already started for us, and as you can see here, the custom fields selection now visible and made required for us to complete. We simply answer the question with the appropriate answer, and that's it. We can move on to completing the report. Now to collect the data for these questions, we are going to want to look at the reports module and decide exactly what report we are going to want to pull. If you type in custom, in the search window of the reports module, it will give you nine reports to choose from. What report you choose will depend on the data you are collecting based on your question and the response you are looking for. Looking at each of these reports, you should be able to find a data set you are looking for. Okay, quick recap. If we have a question that we want our incident report submitters to answer, we are going to set them up in the administration module and then make sure they are visible in the required fields and customization. And lastly, we will search in the reports module 
or the report that best fits the data result we are working to collect. That's it. I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great day, everyone, and stay safe out there.